weed of the week is common cockleburr. It used to be one of the biggest weed problems we had in our farm. When we were kids, we would be pulling cockleburrs all summer, it seemed like, in our soybean fields. But in our cornfields, we didn't have much trouble. Even back then when we were kids, we had 2,4-D and mainly dicamba at that point that we were using, and it was doing an effective job even all those years ago. Yeah, so that was great in corn, but in soybeans, we had to go pull them. And you know what? Cockleburr actually wasn't the most difficult weed to pull. It looked a little scary. It had spots on the stem and everything, and we thought, oh man, what's going on here? But that's just the way cockleburr was. You'd yank it out. It's just an annual weed. It wasn't that big a deal. It's just, unfortunately, we'd have cockleburr after cockleburr after cockleburr. Uh, we, we got pretty strong backs after that. Let's put it that well, way. Well, here's the thing. When you're spraying cockleburr with, with post-emerge broadcast herbicides now, getting good coverage on all those leaves can be a challenge. Cockleburr can really bush out. So like most weeds, we say we want to control them when they're small. And you hear all this stuff about try and control weeds when they're two to six inches tall and with most herbicides. Why is that? Because we have fewer growing points to get to. Well, here's the other thing. I look at the pre-emerge use of products, and a lot of farmers say, well, I want a one-pass system. Well, that's great, except for the large-seeded broadleaves. Large-seeded broadleaves like cockleburr can germinate deeper in the soil. You're not going to get a strong enough rate down there to kill them pre-emerge. Certainly, you can reduce the issue pre-emerge, but you're going to have to have a good post product if you have many cockleburr on your farm. All right, let's go to soybeans right away, and let's talk about the pre-emerge. What I have liked, Brian, has been metrobees. Now, we used to use yep. twice the rate that we do today, and we did okay on cockleburr. Yep, so anyway, we tell you use the three pre's in soybeans, follow up with something like Roundup, Liberty, maybe you know you can use the new Enlist, Extend, all those things. In corn, we'd prefer to see Verdict down, it's got Sharpen in it, that will help some, and then post-emerge status. In wheat, go Sharpen down, follow with Husky post-emerge. That's all the time we have for this week's weed, but Iron Talk is coming up next.